it'll sometimes be necessary to have more than one push button station. So you'll have a, a start stop station at one location, a start stop location at another location. You could have anywhere as many as you want, really. But uh, we need to take a look at how that works out in our control schematics. So this will be multiple push button stations in a three wire circuit. Now looking at it here, we have a stop, which is in series with the stop. Anytime you want a circuit to stop, the contacts need to be normally closed and they need to be in series with one another so that no matter what, it will kill the circuit or it will prevent power from coming across to any point. So if I press this down, it opens the circuit up. If I press this one down, it opens the circuit up as well. Anything that starts the circuit needs to be in parallel. So if I press this down, it will energize M, or if I press this down, it will energize M. So let's take a look at what happens when we start energizing or pushing down on our push buttons. If I press down on the first start push button, power can come through to here, energize the contacts here, sorry, or energize the coil M through their normally closed overloads, and energize these sets of contacts, or seal in the contacts. Again, M coil, is physically attached to these contacts. So whenever these energize, these will close. When we let go of the push button and it springs back to the normally open position, it now has a complete path that goes through the normally closed contacts and energizes M as well. So it can be held in or sealed in. Now to shut the circuit off, we push down on our normally closed contact, which will open up this circuit and de-energize M. When M de-energizes the coil, then the contacts will open up, and when we let go of the stop button, everything will be de-energized because this is open, this is open, and this is open. So there we go. These are all back into their normally closed positions. The starts are in their normally open positions, and our set of contacts is in normally open because M coil is not energized. Now let's press down on the second start push button that's at a different station. When we press down on that, power can come through. It can't go across this start but it can go down and go through this start, which will energize the coil, which will close these contacts and go through and go out the other side. When I let go and the normally open bounces back to its normally open position, these sets of contacts are closed and therefore it holds it in and M stays energized. Now we'll use the different stop button. We'll use the second stop button to stop the circuit, but it does the exact same thing as the first. It opens up the circuit. Power can't get through that node, so it would de-energize the M coil, which will open up these contacts, and these positions, or sorry, push buttons, are being held into their normally open position by the springs anyways. So then when we release the stop button, there will be no access to energize M coil. So again, this bounces back to its normally closed position. This wasn't normally closed. Power can get through right to these points here. Can't get across the start. It can't get across this start, and it can't get across the normally open contacts. And M will stay de-energized up until the point you hit either this start button or this start button to energize M.